Hey, folks, welcome back to the Mike Lopez Show. I'm your host, AC Mike Lopez. Listen, you hear me say it all the time. I know you're getting tired of it, but every time I come back and say it, it is the truth. We have a very special guest today, and uh, I'm honored to uh, welcome the president of Stockton University, Dr. Harvey Kesselman. Welcome to the show, Harv. Always great to see you, AC Mike. You are the guy. I, I, we're celebrating your second year uh, doing this show from here. It's absolutely exciting. Uh, you look fantastic, by the way. Thank you. Uh, it's obvious you lost some weight. You're looking at that fighting, that fighting weight. You look really good, my, uh, Mike, and, and uh, I'm happy for you. I'm really, really happy for you. Well, well thank you very much, Dr. Kesselman. We appreciate that here at the show and the students that you've uh, loaned us and your staff. Listen, we really, I really appreciate it. And I want to thank you again. Year two, it's been a lot of fun. Not only do I get to do a show here about Atlantic City and uh, Atlantic County and our beautiful state of New Jersey, you know, I get to do it at Stockton University. I get to do it with your students and Mike Z and Jordan and the other. So I truly appreciate it. And we're going to make you proud. Hey, you have already, you've already made me proud. Anytime people are working with our students and Mike Z and the folks, okay, that, nothing makes me happier than to see that. So I, I'm thrilled. I'm really excited that we were able to pull this together a couple of years ago. We had talked about it, we done, yep. and, and, and we brought it to fruition. And that's, that's, that's the name of the game. We, we sure did. So listen, real quick, before we get started, what is that a picture of behind you? Tell us. That is, for those who don't know, our you know, majestic Lake Fred. That's a picture that was actually taken by the provost, two provosts, three provosts to go, uh, Dr. David Carr. And uh, his, his, his hobby is photography. And what a gorgeous picture of Lake Fred. It's a 360-acre lake on our beautiful 1,600-acre campus in Galloway. Of course, most of you also know the Atlantic City campus, but this is the mothership, uh, and it's the place that I've been at for you know a half a century now. It's an unbelievable campus out there. Beautiful. I get to uh, visit it when I go see my family and friends on the west end of the county, uh, Hamilton and whatnot. You got a campus uh, satellite out there also. Yes, we do. You have done a wonderful job. Uh, we spoke a little bit uh, about uh, phase two, the right. last uh, season, uh, Dr. Kessman. And it was, uh, I think it was about the groundbreaking when we at least taped and then it may have aired a few months after. But now as we go, uh, phase two is coming out of the ground. So uh, uh, Chris Palladino says, I saw him quoting him one day. It's literally coming out. Tell us where we're at with that. Well, we're right on target. You're going to see you're, you're, you're the footings in. You're going to see a lot more motion. Starting in January, you'll begin to see the steel rep. We're on time, within budget. Uh, you know, we're, we hope to open in the summer of uh, 2023 so that we're in full board for the fall. Uh, and we're excited about it. There's a lot of energy. Uh, around phase two, uh, a lot of excitement. As you can see, more things are happening in the park across the street. Yes. Uh, the trees are going up, They're looking at the memorial to give it a facelift. So everything's everything's moving in the correct uh, direction. Other businesses are beginning to fill in uh, Albany Avenue. There's this uh, the, the new car wash and things of that yep. nature. Many little boutique restaurants have opened up that are are doing a great a great job, and and it's great to see. You know, very shortly, you're going to have a thousand residential students on that one block. And then hopefully we then can launch phase three, which is, of course, block 21, which is across the street from the knife and fork in our residence hall. That that big, huge city block that's sitting there. Uh, AC Devco with Chris Palladino and Stockton as partners, of course. Yeah. And the, you were touching on, doctor, uh, with the businesses. I mean, that was uh, part of the press conference. I remember five, six years ago uh, talking about this area becoming uh, a, a spot, a hub, not only for students, but for different small businesses. Uh, and that's what's happening. And again, you touched on the car wash. That park is amazing. They put the Christmas tree up, too. I was oh, so happy to see that. Isn't that great? It's been years <laughs> since there's that kind of energy around there. So it's, been, it's really getting that college town feel. And that's that's what we wanted. One of the things, I mean, the, the, the dormitories there are absolutely, you know, gorgeous. And, and they all have kitchen facilities, and that was by design. So right. we don't require a meal plan. We wanted our students to be able to go to area restaurants, the little grocery stores that are there, the market and places like that across the street. We wanted them to use the local businesses. So we didn't require a meal plan like we do in, in the dormitories and how, you know, in, in housing on, on Galloway, in some of housing on Galloway. 
And so as a result, um, our students are out there, uh, they're visiting the neighborhoods, they're going to the, like I said, the, 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 the restaurants of which are just a plethora. And, and the folks who have not been down to the Chelsea area of Atlantic City yep. in a while, I strongly encourage you to just take a walk down the streets and see what's happening. There's a lot of energy going on. Um, property values are beginning to go up. Uh, if you look at the Berkeley and some of the other condos down in that area, Ocean, the prices are starting to go up again. So good things are beginning to happen in the city and we just got to keep the momentum. It was going really strong Then we had the pandemic. Now we're coming out of the pandemic, knock on wood, and we'll just keep this kind of energy and momentum going. And when we see steel go up, that excites people. That gets investors to say, Right. Well, look, if, if you, when you see that steel goes up, that gets that other people want to also build. And that's so true. When you see them cranes in the sky, so to speak, uh, it does uh, excite other investors and whatnot. And then let's face it, the price is right still down here. Oh. And uh, the investors are out there. And listen, to, to the folks watching, uh, when you watch this show, listen, you want to come down, Chelsea, like the president says, I'll be more than happy to be your escort. Come and look for me. Find me on social media somewhere, and we'll go around and show you. And I'll grab the president himself, That's and, right. and, and we'll show you what's happening there. So, President, with the school year, let, let's touch on this. I mean, we have the, uh, the, the students are back in. Oh, they're back. Yeah, the yeah. housing is alive. It's, it's face-to-face, you know. So it, it's not quite 100% normal, but it's very, very close. Our admissions for next fall are huge. We're up, you know, almost 2,000 applications, uh, up 2,000 applications. So it gives you an idea where we're at. Incredible excitement. I think students are thrilled to be back, to have the social interactions that I think you need on a college or university, certainly the traditional students. Uh, we have learned some things as a result of right. pandemic. We can, uh, you know, there are things that we can do online, just like what we're doing right now. Uh, it, it allows people uh, who have tight schedules to be able to still engage with the university. Some of our um, events that we've held that, that we've had students both live and online have drawn huge crowds. So I think there's some things we can gain from it, but Stockton is, is a traditional university. Meaning we, you know, we have a huge, you know, a large number of residential students. Um, the campus is the living room and the home of right. those students. And it's important that that we have a very real experience for them. And, and it's a beautiful experience. And they're here, they're right here in the, in the, with you. I mean, they're in, 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 the, That's right. in, in the library where That's they belong. That's part of our staff here. So I'd be remiss if I didn't ask the protocol and some of the students and whatnot moving forward into the spring. Do we see any changes with that or is that something that comes from state and federal? Well, I, listen, we still have the, the vac. You know, we've, we've had the vaccine mandate right. since May. The question is the mask mandate. And we're right. going to take our cues because we, we, we still have masks. Uh, now, I've, I've had both shots and the booster. Almost our whole population has. And, and I, I would love to be able to uh, you know, to get rid of the masks, uh, if we get the green light from the state, meaning it, once I know the K-12 has done it, uh, then, then, then maybe we can do it. I'd like to get a few. We still have some, you know, a few hundred students who have exemptions. Uh, I, I'm hoping they get vaccinated so that we can we, we can rid ourselves of the masks because, you know, a lot of people are getting tired of those. Uh, and and I am, too, quite frankly. So that would make my day if in spring I could announce we don't have masks anymore. I hear you. Let's I keep remember. our fingers crossed. Okay? That's right. Here we go. So I do remember, too, when we started this, we were talking a little bit. And I think we were on the radio show, the WOND show that I have. And you were you were mask up, back up, wash up. That wash was our up. thing. Remember that? That was that was That's uh, right. And then we added vax up. Then we added vax up after that. But you're right. You're right. So, I'm happy you remember that. Yeah, yeah, we oh, were, yeah. We yeah, our URM people, our marketing people came up with that, and half the other schools copied it, but they gave us credit. They did give us credit for it. So. That's great. Hey, listen, man, I'm about as Foghorn Leghorn would say, about as sharp as a bowling ball, but I do remember something. So, <laughs> so, so, Doctor, you, you know how we always ended here. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the things I like to do with my guests, um, we talked a little bit before the show, but – I like to end, just give us an AC story, one of your favorite AC stories, not to put you on the spot, whatever it may be. It could be with the college, with the university, or when you were at the oh, university. Oh, when I was a young kid, one of, the, one of my first experiences was I, I, and it was at Boardwalk Hall, it was one of the first pay per TV, it might have been the first large pay per TV fights, and I watched the Ali Frazier fight. Ooh. 
uh, one, the one from Madison Square Garden. It was a packed boardwalk hall. It was the first pay-per-view TV. It was the most exciting night of my life up until that time. It was arguably the greatest heavyweight fight ever. Ali got, I mean, Frazier won the fight, but Ali had, was undefeated going into it and, and had come back, as you know, and undefeated. Right. And he gained more credibility when he got up off the canvas in that last right. round uh, and really became truly the champion because he overcame adversity. He got up off the deck. And, and the truth of the matter is that was one of the most exciting moments. When, uh, obviously, I have a, thousands of, of, of Stockton moments, but I was a kid then. And I remember, right. I remember that fight vividly. I couldn't believe it. It was so electric in there. That's a word of all call, and it's funny to say that coming to the show soon will be Ray McCline from the Atlantic City Boxing Hall of Fame. He's doing a great job, but the boxing, it's starting to come back here in the city. Which is great, because yep. you had all Tyson's fights That's here. Right. I mean, yeah, not all of them, but you had a lot of Tyson fights here, and, and some great, it was once a great, it, listen, it is a great, it's a great music city, jazz, and all the kinds of things, and nightclubs associated with it. Phenomenal restaurants, the best, re I, I, you know, I do travel a lot as a president, you get around. It's still the best restaurants. And I'm a, I'm a kid from Philly, which had good restaurants, but Atlantic <laughs> City has the best restaurants. That's right. It, you're, you're absolutely right. And listen, if you ever need a driver to get you around or to, to, to ask your trip. You got me covered? I'm here, brother. Yeah, oh, I'm my here. My board will be happy to know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I'm right next door. So listen, folks. Uh, Dr. Kesselman, want to thank you once again. Of course, you and I, when we get together, we could go for an hour or so. And we'll do it on the radio show. We appreciate you. Listen, AC Mike, keep doing what you're doing. We love you. Uh, and thank you for taking care of my students. That means a lot to me, my friend. Well, I'll let you in a little secret. They're taking care of me, man. There I'm you go. Watching them. I'm that's going to school. That's those Ospreys. Go Ospreys. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to school as we do these and produce these shows. Folks, Dr. Harry Kesselman, president of Stockton University. We'll be right back. Stay where you're at.